hello friends welcome to the automation revolution in this video we will learn how we can configure trend view in SCADA screen actually trend is graphical representation of any analog signal or any analog data which is coming from field area so this analog signal can be any pressure it can be temperature uh, flow humidity different types of analog quantity which is coming from field area that we can monitor in real time or historical time so this trend view is very important for monitoring control system or if there is any problem or any uh, uh, diagnosis or troubleshooting so in that case trend view is very important uh, for controlling the system so now let's see how we can configure the trend view in SCADA application so here we have Siemens TI portal software and I have configured uh, S7300 PLC as you can see and uh, as a SCADA we have taken uh, WinCC RT Advance so now uh, when when uh, see rt advance we will configure the trend view so before that uh, we'll go for directly scada uh, we will go for the programming block so here i have taken any uh, analog signal which is coming from field area so you can see i have taken scale block and here uh, any analog signal is coming from field so this is the analog signal addressing iw50 and uh, I have made scaling from this analog signal so ultimately I will get analog uh, signals in MD100 within scaling so I will get this data in 0 to 100 range so we will uh, see the trend uh, from this MD100 so as per that you can uh, make the scaling uh, data or you can directly uh, assign this analog data with the trend view now we will go for uh, any SCADA screen so here I have taken any extra trend uh, screen and from this trend screen we will uh, configure the trend view so we will go for this toolbox and uh, here uh, in control we will get trend view so this is the option for trend view you can just drag and drop so here uh, you will get this blank clear window and uh, now on downside we will get property of this trend video window so in this property window first option is trend and here we will add any trend so you can rename this trend uh, so i will write the temperature signal you can change the style you can change this trend uh, values so you can make up to maximum value if you want uh, here we will configure the trend type so there are different types of uh, trend type so you will get a uh, bit triggered buffer when any uh, bit will trigger that time this uh, trend view start for scanning or it will start to log the data when <coughs> in bit trigger real time if you want uh, configure this in real time after bit triggering so you can go for this bit trigger real time if you want cyclic real time so it will update cyclic uh, cyclically data with real time and if you want historical data then we will go for this data log that we will see in next video so as of now i will just select cyclic real time so this analog data will update cyclically in this trend view here is a very important part for this trend view the source setting so from uh, which tag this data is coming that tag will assign in this uh, source setting so this process value tag we will assign from this tab so we will go for first PA, uh, PLC tag because uh, we want to configure MD100 uh, data which is coming from uh, the scaling so after scaling we are getting the data in MD100 so I will assign this tag here and just click OK this data will update in one second so you can change this uh, cyclic time also so right now we will uh, take one second here you can uh, change if you want data from left side or right side so that uh, this graph will uh, generate from left or right if you want to give the limit in different colors so you can set this color also if you want multiple trend in single view so you can uh, add another trend signals from here so you can here write like pressure signal and uh, the style you can change if you want 
to change this color and you can change this mode also if you want this graph in bar format point format step format so you can change this one so we'll select this interpolate and uh, once again the source setting uh, for the now source setting i want different any tag so here i want any internal tag uh, from scada so from the internal uh, tag change i i want uh, trend view so for that uh, once again we will go for this toolbox and uh, i will take the slider so when i will slide uh, any value uh, from the slider so this analog value will change so this is the internal tag there is no any plc connection uh, for this tag so for that uh, we have to take any extra tag in hmi so for internal tag uh, i have taken the scaling tag here so you can see there is internal tag there is no any connection between plc and then scaling tag so this tag we can use as an internal uh, tag for scada so here i will assign uh, the property of this scale and here this maximum and minimum value is 0 to 100 and process tag i will update uh, from this hmi tag so you can see this is the scaling tag i have ta uh, taken uh, for this slider so this is the internal tag so when uh, i will vary this value in a slider so this value will update in this trend view so same in source setting we will assign that tag which is coming from the scaling and the cyclic time is also 1 second now you can change appearance of this trend view and the border type layout text format toolbar if you want toolbar so in down side you can see uh, you will get this type of button other property we will see is button border then table so we will uh, assign this two visible line so you will get the trend uh, value and tag connection date and time every data in uh, trend view tab uh, table header border so this type of this property you can change if you want uh, style or design for this trend view so you just click on this button so from here style of the hmi device we can change if you want this dark fresh light or wireframe so we can change this style also one second we will uh, go to trend view here we have assigned two types of uh, analog trend so in one screen we will get two analog signal and we have configured that trend in this value now we will see uh, how it will appear in real time or any run time now i will take navigation button from home so this is home button and i have taken already trend button and uh, from trend if you want to switch home button so you can just drag and drop so this will be navigation button uh, for screen changing now uh, we will go for this run time so click on this run time so first this home screen will appear so i will switch in trend view so here you can see the value uh, is changing so i am changing uh, from this scada uh, this scada uh, slider you can see this data is also varying in run time and this is uh, signal coming from plc md 100 now i am changing uh, this analog data which is coming from field so you can see this signal is increasing and now i am decreasing this data so this type of uh, analog data we can uh, get from uh, real time run time and this this data can lock uh, in historical data file so that we will uh, see in uh, our next video uh, you can see here uh, this value also uh, indica indicating our means right now this is 47 value now i am increasing value 
so this time uh, we, we can get this data and whatever data is uh, changing from this slider that is also uh, shown here and the with the date and time value tag connections what are the tag we have uh, connected with this uh, trend signal so this all type of data we will get from this trend view so thank you very much uh, for watching our video and next video we will see how we can uh, log the data in historical time so please keep watching our video and uh, please subscribe our channel uh, automation revolution if you not subscribe it thank you very much